Hi guys, so welcome back to the this fourth part of this video. So we're gonna continue with the tokens um, right here. So we have, what, what is this one? It's a very nice purple is, thing. This is one of the characters that is in the, um, in the slime deck story. They end up, the clowns end up running. Mm -hmm. And a seafarer, a pirate, ends up giving them conveyance on their ship to run from the slime since they are basically in the same boat in this situation. Uh -huh. This specific character is a pesky little SOB. He likes fire, and he likes a lot of it. So he saw an opportunity to make good of it. He saw the slimes destroying the city. He saw everybody running and fleeing for their lives and people dying. He uh -huh. thought... Perfect chance for fire. Started to light the place on fire. Oh. So as they're on the boat, you saw the place just burning. <laughs> so are the slime um will be killed by fire? Can be some, can some not. Be killed? No. Okay, some, so, some not. so why is this like we, he has cards in his hands? He's a clown. He plays mm. tricks. Please, okay. I mean, you play with a deck of cards. Yeah. I mean, they do like three card Monte. Mm -hmm. They say, pick one of three. Which one do you yeah. pick? Do you pick the queen? Do you pick the jack? Or do you pick the ace? Yeah. You do this. And then, I mean, you bend the cards in half, of course. And you do your best to fool them. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Slide of hand. So. Uh, what what's the name of the card? Clown. No? I don't believe you have a clown a deck, clown right? Deck? There will be a clown deck. Lady Duchess will be the one to do that when we get to it. We are not there yet. Okay, so we have here this that one. card is. I know which card that is. I don't know the name of it exactly. Uh, Chaos Card Crush. That's the one. CCC. Mm -hmm. But the character in the card is Katsume. I Spectre's Emissary, which is going to be a limited edition print whenever we get around to it. Which the current Kickstarter that's up, I was attempting oh, yeah. to get around. Let me see. Yep. Is that the foil? No. It's well, just a glare just a on it. reflection, okay. Yeah, that's matte. It's anything but foil. Yeah. Matter oh, of fact. What are these ones? It reminds me of minions. Yeah. <laughs> what are these? No, that's, those are souls behind him. Uh, souls, yeah. But yes, it's similar to this card. I correct myself on that. It's not the same character. It's a different one. Because they're the same thing, essentially, because the Spectre will end up getting the one that's trapped in the extra-dimensional prison that controls all the blood creatures. Yeah. He will bring up a creature of this nature once in a great while that is very strong, and it'll tr have a very good chance of taking over everything and killing everyone and getting the Spectre's way uh -huh. to help him break free of his curse. This one does not have a name far as a creature, but there is a character that fights him called Shinny. Shinny. Um, oh, I do have it on the wall here. It's on a different wall. Right here. Oh, there you go. But this character here, can you see my finger? Yeah. All right. This character here, he has a kofesh. Which uh -huh. is a specific weapon, which is traditionally made in Egypt. Yeah, the one, the, the, are, the one at the bottom painting, similar, yes. right? No, the, yes. the, the other painting in there. Yes, okay. that's a similar kofesh, but it's of a different make because it's more harsh of a curve. Uh -huh. But this is a different kofesh, different blade, and it's more straight than curved. Mm -hmm. But this is the same character in the two. Yeah. But 
this man here is Shani. And this is like way back in the day. Say like we would be concerned with 200 BC. Oh. And say that way long ago. And you could say that this man lives in like 200 BC. Uh -huh. In oh. the Valley of Ra'an before there was just one city that was all secluded because the blood creatures conquered everything else. Uh -huh. He is the one that saved them from this creature. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So there will be a plot line eventually to take care of that man. Yeah, so that will be in the future. All right, so this one is... Ooh, what is... What are these things coming out from the ice? From that the... is the elephant skull for one. And with so, the wings. The blood blood creatures end up just taking over the elephant. Oh. Uh, so, okay. Page forward. And oh, another one with a snail with hands. Sea creature. Sea creature, but with hands. It's a you know how you have the, the fingers. Oh um, yeah. But you know how you have the ancient uh sea dwelling creatures that are on the bottom they have those big shells and they have tentacles and they're like squids with a shell yeah yeah that's basically what that is but it's tainted by blood yeah so that's now why... it has fingers instead of tentacles yeah it formed uh it formed fingers instead of tentacles all right yes yeah and oh this one is the laughing what's this monster a happy blood creature <laughs> <laughs> happy just eating uh, just eating something <laughs> it's full of worms maggots and all oh you can yeah <laughs> all right and then this one is something that's uh, mr green which i mentioned earlier oh yeah okay and then why is this the so big... okay go ahead this i will not give anything away but someone saved his life and that's why all the mechanics is on him Mm -hmm. He is old in this picture. Old. Yeah. Like there. 200 years old. Because he's he's very strong. He's very vibrant in mm -hmm. his nature. And he can live long. And he's a very reliable person. And the end of the first, more or less, first few segments or series of the of the comic will revolve around Mr. Green and what he does to uh -huh. a certain extent. All right. Because we will go to one big climax, but this is when he's older and this is after that climax and someone saved his life uh -huh. beforehand. And you'll see him younger, no mechanics on him. First you'll see him with a skull on his head, which is a certain sort of technology that's mixed with plant matter that uh, essentially, you know, neurophysics, right? Not so much about neurophysics. You know, machines and they hook monitors up to your head. The oh, yeah. Okay. So this is basically the head of Mr. Green with all those, yeah, that's the head of him. those but, tubings. I mean, just to give an example of when you first see him with a skull mask, uh, imagine that the computer that reads your brain communicates back and forth with the person and yeah. that the plant is actually the computer. Uh-huh. So, so carrying the, data, data from the yeah. brain. Okay. And the plant is beneficial to the person and the person is beneficial to the plant uh -huh. with more negatives being it needs resources so essentially first off you'll see him with that uh, technology then you'll see him without an arm and that technology will supplement his arm with a weapon uh -huh. and you'll see him real badass and gung-ho yeah. where he could you know do like a real good fight scene like a gun scene, but uh -huh. here it's more futuristic and everything's falling for him. He about died and someone saved his life. Yeah, so it's like uh, Frankenstein. 
Except he's already alive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. There, and we have this one. Yes. We Flying. already went over that one on the other one. That yeah, with the, uh, the one with the card, right? Yes. So I'll, I'll the, show them uh, the cards. Blue the Emerging, cards I believe. Where we can see it. Um, I think, oh no, not that one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, here. Right? This is the one? Blue Immersion? Oh, different artwork. Same art, same creature, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There and um, the next one is I think we have it. Oh, there. Yeah. So this was Guard of Ga, which yes. is the full art. Yes. Yeah. There. And if you go to the extra deck, you will see Abraham. Uh -huh. You'll see he'll have a no, similar can show that later. to the Guard of Ga. Yeah. Okay. Show that later. Because it would be confusing with cards. Well, yes, uh, the character in the extra deck that looks similar to the Guard of Ga, the Guard of Ga guards him. Or I may switch that around in the future, but he's of the same species. Uh -huh. So this one right here. Yes, it's the same species as that creature. Uh, okay, so it's a warrior. Yes. Okay. Which you can see on Abraham's, he has the Ga character mm -hmm. with three holes in the rope. As I mentioned in the first video, he e has holes. three different holes. So the Ga is more evil and more destruction filled than before. Mm -hmm. So the guard of Ga is not as foul as this man, essentially. Oh, okay. We're going to show that after. Then we have here, Bluff. Yes. Spinning Moon Flower. So I believe this one is a plant. Yes. It is a slime plant. The slime took over a plant. I ah, there. Okay. So is it a slime deck or a plant deck? Slime deck. Slime deck. Slime deck. Okay. Though essentially that specific card you could fit into any deck. Mm -hmm. And this one is Shogun, Shogun's Order? Yes. The Shogun Order that people that do not support his reign or does not support his person should be yep. executed. Mm -hmm. So men, women, and children were executed upon his order after he took power. Mm -hmm. The It would be the sh Shadow Shogun or the Shogun of Shadows. The Shogun is like a leader up. of that. Yes. He ends up assassinating the emperor. Uh huh. Okay. So this one is goes to blood, right? Yes. We have king of a uh, king, king me. Yes, that is a concept art. I do not have a actual art made yet to replace that. Mm -hmm. So that is a concept art card to give a example. Yeah. And so like this again, smokes the non-foil one. Yep. It is an example of a concept art of early before where I drew it up and said, oh, this is what it should be. And essentially those dashes that look like backgammon dashes. This one, yeah. That is my plans in the future. Say after the first set is released and there is a good amount of cards balanced, I would add to spells and shadows. Shadow spells and light spells, that's a light spell. Mm -hmm. Different dashes like that to mark how strong they are, according yeah. one to four, one to three or so. And that's a concept I that may be something I go to, that may be something I drop in the future. Yeah. I, I thought that, know yet. I thought that the this symbol signifies the uh, instant. The lightning bolt, yes, but I'm talking about in the art. Oh, you because mean here? Find, yes, the black dashes. Oh, I, like I was looking at this one. Oh, okay. All so right. that's what those are representative representative of. And then oh. the chess piece is just essentially pointing towards that chess and games of that nature, like dominoes, chess, mm. and the like, 
are essentially precursors to trading card games and that you have their own rules to each piece and different effects that you can do off. Like you can castle your king if you have not done certain things during the game. And it's more or less a, in honor of those games beforehand. Mm -hmm. All right. So this one goes to Blood. That's more of a uh, indiscriminative card. You mean similar to this? It could be anywhere. <laughs> okay, so you're going to put it here in the void pile. <laughs> oh. Okay, tree fungus. Oh, I assume this one is a plant. Blood oh. creature, actually. Oh, blood, oh. The fungus is tainted with the blood. Okay, so that's... Uh, hmm? You said you live in Canada right now, right? Yes. Uh, you ever walked around in the woods in Canada? No, I don't dare. <laughs> well, if you ever do, in the North America, and especially in the summer, in dying trees, you can see different fungus growing on trees. Mm -hmm. And that will tell you that the tree is about dead or is dying or is going to die. Ah. And this is one of the funguses that would be on the tree that would show that the tree is dying. And except in this case, the blood has tainted the fungus itself instead of the tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this one is blood. And we have a standing creature. With uh, something, a traveler here. That is going to be a based around a mini story that me and the artist for the token set cooked up as far as in a concept. And the concept is, uh, you remember that Australian guy that died in the early 2000s? Steve Irwin? He, uh, hmm? Steve Irwin. Yes. Yeah. Did a lot of animals and stuff. Yeah. So it's essentially, this would be a parody of him, but with blood creatures and the creatures in this world and this universe. So I could say... There's some random creature, and he says, this is a cool, demonic, beautiful blood creature. Look how astounding and strong it is. Yeah. It could eat and devour me whole, and I wouldn't even know it. Yeah. It could kill a whole city. Mm -hmm. Look at those big teeth. And then he goes and touches it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like crocodile. Uh, <laughs> nice croaks. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> accent. <laughs> I'm not good at that, that accent. <laughs> so anyway, that's a blood. Oh, that's Steve Irwin. Um, yeah. Okay. This one here is Aftermath. Yes, that goes to the slime deck. That is the pirate that ends up captaining the ship that aids the circus people from running from the city mm -hmm. so uh, he is the reason that they are able to escape okay so this one is blood that's slime deck line i can't see any oh, no, yeah. the blue slime there so lights denial so this is like a concept artwork yes Okay, that so. is a essentially a spirit holding some scepter of power. And it essentially would... I'm still brainstorming over it, but I'm believing it would have something to do with thunder and the weather. Mm. But as you can see, it has direct implications on it being an instant. Because oh, yeah. on the scepter that he's holding, it has the instant emblem. So it controls the weather, you mean? Uh, I would not say specifically, but okay. it could. Yeah. I have not decided that lore altogether yet. So I believe this one is void yet. A yeah. lot of concept arts would put void. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like this one. Another concept. Watch. That one would not fit void. That is more or less, uh, you know, Harakiri? Oh, yeah. Yes. Harakiri. That is, say, like, I use this to sharpen my pencils. But this blade here is the same type of blade that they use to commit Harakiri and Seppuku. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, far as what they would, you know. Yeah, yeah. Far as the gut and then upwards. 
So this is the same blade, and that is what it's modeled to look after. Uh -huh. And I for it says Bosch. I forget what exactly Bosch means, but it is a... Oh, yes. Bosch means a disgrace. That was the exact definition. It is something that is disdainful, something that is disgraceful, something that is shameful to your honor, to your person. Yeah. So the idea in this is blades like this in Japan are normally illegal because of harakiri being a big issue there. They are trying to eradicate it uh. for good reason. Because you'll have children, and you still do nowadays, you have yearly children committing seppuku. Oh. For no reason. For little, I mean, little to no good reason, which I would argue and say there's no good reason. Mm -hmm. But obviously there's people that would disagree with that. But Bosch would be more or less insistent upon the idea that it is shameful to, to uh, do that to yourself. Okay. And I believe this one is blood. The, I would oh. say void, more or less. Void. It's more of a samurai deck. Okay. More of a warrior oh. samurai deck. This one is your concept artwork of the... Where is it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what was now you get part? it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Here. So it's uh, Briot. Briot there. So that's the Briet, Briet, uh, yes. Briet, Briet. It's Oops. It's, so this... it's written in English, so it's you know pronunciation is funny. Briet, Briet. Okay, that's the the one here. So this but, is the concept art and the final yes, art. Okay. The concept card completely because the effect in the card itself is completely different. Yeah. So, but it's gonna go here to the blood. As we know it already, that it's blood. Right, so we have here mad convulsions. Yes, this is a bird creature that is being taken over by either a blood or a dragon creature that's being taken over by the blood. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, straightforward mad convulsion. Okay, that's blood right there. And we have constraints. Yes, there's a blood creature someone came upon. And they have been trying to constrain it. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, when I get further into the set, as long as it fits into the set, I will have characters that raw revolve around Vlad the Impaler. Mm -hmm. You do you know Vlad the Impaler? I'm sure. No. You know Dracula, right? Oh yes. Dracula was inspired by a man called Vlad the Impaler. Oh, okay. And he was a very brutal person. Uh -huh. And essentially what made him famous is the army that was bigger than his was attacking his city, which was smaller than the army. The army was like 5,000 soldiers. He had like 100 people. I don't uh -huh. know if that's the exact numbers, but that's a comparison. Okay. So he ordered the soldiers to take the men, women, and children and to take spikes and to... In such a way that it goes up their back and out their mouth to where they are still alive for three days afterwards. So this army, if I remember right, they were Christian. And when they saw this, they more or less were revolted by it so much, they retreated. Uh -huh. And his city was saved. Uh -huh. So they called him Dracula because he spilled so much blood. And he also apparently had some sort of disease that made him, you know, really? real pale. And I think it's tuberculosis. Alive. Yeah, something like that. Yep. So that's blood. All right. Then we have how many? Four or more left. And then we go to the unique cards. Okay, this one is better when done. Oh, this yes. is another series of the uh, Ubi Trap. Yes. That's yeah. a... Different part while still consuming the girl and help. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So that's one better one done. Okay. So slime. We have Viper's Gaze, which is a concept art. Yes. Concept Viper's arts. Gaze. Concept arts is the one, you're the one who drew it, right? Yes. Okay. This was all Conte. 
which is a type of here. Conte is literally ash that has been compounded into a physical form similar to a crayon. And what's that for? For drawing. Drawing? Oh. Even Da Vinci used Conte so, art. So they um they have an ash that they compress and make it yeah, like a pencil. Okay. Yes, it's one of the it's oldest like charcoal. Forms of Just like crayons. charcoal, right? Yes, it is but made up of what? It's made of charcoal and uh, dyes. Uh, da Vinci, I learned of it by studying Da Vinci's art. Yeah. And Da Vinci, he would make his own Conte pins or crayons, whatever you want to call them. He would make them himself, handmade. Yeah. And he would draw with them. He'd usually use each Conte denotation, color, or you know, spectrum for a different thing. Some would be for anatomy. Some would be for drawing. Some would be for words, yeah. but this character specifically is a gangster. He is a mob man, and he deals with a lot of the underground in this city, and he will save Mr. Green's life, mm. and he will be a good antagonist, and he will be seen as a good guy that has his own flaws. Like I said, he, there's really no heroes. There's mostly anti-heroes. People do things that are good, but they also do things that are bad. And even if they do things that are completely bad, some things they do will contribute to some good. So it goes to which one? Here, Void? That is, yeah. And we have, oh, another concept is Doro. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> That is a, that is a <laughs> very, really? don't say it without ignorance. Oh. I'll put it that way. He's bowing. Oh, it's bowing. Okay. Like, ah. It's based on a Japanese man. It's based on a Japanese yep. lore story. So he puts his hands on his thighs yep. and he right. bows. bows he's yeah. reading. Oh, that's why. So, now, it is a Japanese word. It is in Japanese, the language on the top. It is a Japanese curse word that in English oh. is not a curse at all. Okay. It's essentially saying that he is a home wrecker. Ah, uh, okay. But so it's... he broke a home in two. He took somebody's wife or took somebody's yeah. husband or the like from them. He is a home wrecker. He destroys homes. Mm -hmm. So that's who he is. So this depiction which I attempted, which you can hardly see. If you if you looking in, the camera won't pick it up, but if you look in closely, you could probably see there's a character that goes like this on the door frame that is like a line, like yeah. this. That is the character Dal or Dalet. You mean this one? And the no, mouth? And the, no, 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 no. Put it straight up. Uh, above his head. Above his head, it should say Dal. Oh, man, I can't. I don't know. You don't Is know? it a word? Yeah, it's a character. I'll show you. Character? I don't see it. Or maybe so it's like just you have Chinese small. characters. Yeah, just too small, probably. Yeah. Like this. Ah. This is the character Dal. And in Hebrew, the character Dal stands for a door. Uh -huh. And a door essentially means it is a pathway into something. Yep. And a pathway out of something. So it's both things. So in this, he is at the doorway, at the threshold of the building. Uh -huh. And he is bowing at yep. the woman which he wishes to fornicate with. Oh. So this is a doorway into fornication. But at the same way, there is the possibility of it being the doorway out of it. Uh-huh. Because she could just slam the door in his face. So there are two meanings of that. Yes. But okay. because he's a because he's Doro Binico, he is he's already ruined the home. So yeah. she's not going to slam the door in his face. 
Okay. But Dalit is just a notion towards that concept. Mm -hmm. So let's go put it in a void. Yes. And this one, is this a concept art or? It's, that it's is a final. token. Sorry? Token. Token. False profit. Yes. Okay. So I do not currently have any lore around him. But whatever it goes around, he will be infatuated with the blood creatures. And he uh -huh. will believe that they're holy and try to preserve them and make them multiply. That's yeah. all I have on that character. I do not have anything more specific than that. Okay, so it goes to the blood or put it in the void first? Yes. What do you think? Void? Void would probably be good. And the last one for the cards here. Before we go to the unique ones. So this one is some coercion. Yes. You remember Joko, right? Yeah. He's the cause of this. Mm -hmm. If you read it, it says... Kill yourself, kill to, yourself to, yes, to save her. Save her. <laughs> so oh. essentially, Joker persuaded him to off himself. So I will not go into the story as I do not want to ruin the plot line. Yeah. But the artwork itself, I had a friend of mine that wanted to put his two cents into something that he wanted to have made. I'd known him for a while, so I let him put his two cents in on something. He said he wanted a guy that was on a desk with a gun. Yeah. So I said, do you want him to off himself? What do you? He said, sure. So I, you know, enhanced off of his concept uh, with the limitations of the artist because the artist has her own limitations I needed to avoid on certain pieces. So I avoided those limitations as best I could while expanding the story around it. But that's more or less where that came from. Yeah, And this one is holding a gun, right? Yes, he shot himself. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, so guys, um, we're going to go for the next video, which is the last part of this, probably. Um, we're going to show some of these, uh, all of these deck cards. Okay. So, see you in the next video.